Welcome to Game Does Play Games, where we play games star game design, and today we are playing Zidonia, which is currently in alpha, but even more importantly, currently on Kickstarter, so you should check that out if you're watching this oh. episode in timely time. And this timely game is time. brought to you by... Breaking Bites. Um, I don't three know Three-man team. Three-man team. I don't know if they've made many other games other than this, but I've been following this one at least for four or five months now, um, after I've checked out their alpha one version, or... Er, version alpha version one uh and it's it's got this really awesome retro feel to it i i think the thing that stood out among made this shmup game stand out among the rest is that it really like did a great job at staying true to the classic like arcade cabinet kind of feel oh even its sound so far like just oh yeah oh yeah so we're just gonna jump in Select they have some co-op stuff um, I don't know no, the secret what the co-op is like, but yeah, so the story goes, Harrison Blade is the only one that's ventured out into the early stages of the universe and has come back alive. He's assembled a team of pirates, so he has Tyrone Bull Johnson and Yoko Valentine, just very like... Uh, your, your stereotypes mm -hmm. all around, pretty awesome. <laughs> So we're going to start with Harrison because, I mean, he's the team leader, so it only makes sense, right? Um, there's also this cool system of choosing your, like, gun type, I guess, um, which I guess Harrison has. I think they all have three, so it's usually, like, main gun, then you've got, like, shooting up vertically as well as horizontally, and then, you know, some kind of weird version. Awesome. So you have your different ship, and I imagine that each person by themselves functions differently mm -hmm. and then on top of that like a modifier to that and then you get an assistant yeah so assistance um this gives us two stock which means two extra lives um which right. is pretty useful in a game like this uh they same thing with the characters and i i don't know if the um the types the last thing that we saw you can unlock things but it looks like there's a lot of stuff that they you can unlock or have planned to be something unlockable because it's the alpha so there's a lot that isn't done yet um but awesome. we're just gonna go ahead and choose her because there's no reason why you wouldn't want two extra lives i mean no, let's I be real know, man anyone that's played a shmup game knows that they're all difficult and this one's no exception in the alpha one version the game was damn near impossible um maybe not for the the uh, experienced shmup player, but I couldn't do it. Um, so I see that the okay and one hit kill. All right, one hit yeah. kill. Like a tip, pretty pretty typical. The big difference between this one and Alpha One Two is that if you look at the bottom of the screen, we also have credits, um, which means we have continues, uh, which is a pretty big deal because if you run out of continues and you lose all of your lives, then you have to start game from ground zero. Well, at least with the continues, it's probably going to be at the start of the level. Exactly. Um, whereas if you lose a life, you just respawn where you are. So you get to continue in the level as it is. Um, so it's... Didn't see that guy coming. <laughs> nice. That's Chris. the thing about bumps is sometimes you just... Oh, that was just foolish on your end. I will say, I've never been a fan of <laughs> collision on the, the walls and stuff. I never really felt that that was necessary. I mean, and don't play the old Silver Surfer. Oh, man. man, you're bad. You know, I was doing all right before, but as soon as you make me commentate while playing, it changes yeah. everything. That is fair. So I, I like how they actually they had a transition in the background, which was actually pretty cool. Is, oh, mech pilots. Sweet. Yeah, right. Yeah. So there's been a huge variety of enemies so far. And it's not as though they're doing you know super crazy things, right? But it's it's certainly enough to kind of keep you on your toes. Yes. And I I really love the uh, the art too. Like you can kind of see um, that they have this like CRT effect going on, um, which I think you can actually just turn it off. It must be some kind of like pixel shader that they have. Um, but it like gives Why it even more of that. that. I know exactly. There's uh, even the like the intro that... screen and everything. That was great. Yeah, no, they do a good transition into the boss fight. Um, if you notice, too, it really didn't take very long for us to get to, mm, to the boss, uh, which I think is really nice when you compare it to a lot of the like older 
shmup games? Yeah, because the, the older ones, like, you, you, the first you had to, like, get good at the game, and then you had to endure well, just the onslaught while you were trying to, like, survive against... Why are you so close to him? Back up. Give it's, yourself some room, man. That's a good Jeez. point. <laughs> uh, yeah, you would have to sit there and just, like, endure and shoot and, like, forever just, like... Just, oh, there you go. Get all the nuts and bolts. What do those do? I think they're points. Um, it it kind of says something, but it's really hard to read with all the flashing lights complete. going on. Yeah. Um, but I think it's just points, and I think if you get enough points, you get extra lives. So I got one extra life from that with my rank of C. Could have done it with one eye. Oh, wait, I just did. <laughs> <laughs> Warping to the next zone. Stay sharp, folks. I hope that guy's story of why he lost his eye was like he was shot with a laser, like, in the <laughs> Threw eye. Threw his ship from Threw, another ship. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just, and lived to tell the tale. I'm really curious I to see what... Notice, notice how the, 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 the background changed and, and gives it this appearance like you're going in a different direction. Mm -hmm. Which, I mean, very simple, but... Yeah, no, they, they use the background art really effectively, which... You know, I guess isn't anything super complicated, right? But it makes a huge difference, especially when you're kind of it, trying it makes to present feel a lot more dynamic. Mm -hmm. Because you're, normally, look at that! Look at that! Was awesome. Yeah, it, it was the transition down to the planet side, and it's it's so good. It's um, you know what? Actually, it, why why it's awesome it, in particular is because it uh, helps develop the narrative of the story without you know having to go into just a mountain of text because a shmup like this, you don't have time or reason to have so much text. Mm -hmm. So instead, you have to tell your story in other ways. And in this case, we're doing it while we're playing. And I, I really like that too. I think they do an exceptional job at kind of giving it this sort of narrative, even if we don't totally know what's going on. But we don't need to know what's going on to have fun either. Yeah. You're fighting a bad guy. I like, never eat the next bus. That is nice. It's yeah, super not nice. Not having to endure all that. Uh oh, from behind. Ooh, giant motorcycle. I will That's be honest. Beautiful. I'm not going to have a good time with it. Case in point. Oh, so I guess if you use the continue, you don't have to restart, which I suppose does sort of break. Ooh. Wow, how did you not get hit in all that? Pure and absolute luck. Uh, uh. The trick Holy is cow. that you're not supposed to shoot those missiles, oh, you're supposed to let them pass sense. you. And I keep shooting them anyway. Ja! Ah, and then they hold on top of that, so it's just difficult. Mm -hmm. So what exactly are you... Okay, you're shooting the little doodad on top of it. Mm -hmm. God, I sound like a dad. <laughs> well, shoot the doodad. Uh, there's a doodad up there. Now, the interesting thing, too, is that, you know, the first guy we fought was some, like, weird cyber brain guy, um, which, first of all, I absolutely love the art on that guy because... I think he's super cool. Ah, ooh, that's difficult. But we're fighting a police cruiser on the planet side. So we know we're pirates, right? So obviously, you know, they're going to want to hunt us down anyway. But I feel like it's interesting that they have us down here anyways. So it begs the question of, like, why did we come planet side? Why are we here? What are we doing? I think what I'm enjoying about it so far is that that part, you should probably just, like, stick in the back and barely move up and down. Probably because it's there we much go. harder to dodge us diagonals. Um, yeah, it, what, what I'm enjoying about it is, like, it stays true to that old form of, like... Got him. Uh, Tattoo him. <laughs> yes! Yeah! Stage like, like, the old bosses, like, back in the day, used to be freaking weird. Like, remember Contra and stuff like that? You, you fought some weird bosses. And the giant skull guy? Yeah. I mean, like... <laughs> Giant skull head, giant motorcycle. It's great. <laughs> and they use it well, too, right? They have it jumping up and doing all kind of, like, uh, interesting things with, uh, like, its movement and its attack patterns be based on, like, what it is, right? So they, they utilize it well. So I guess Boom, right now the, the Alpha has two levels. <gasps> yeah! Yeah! So that's Idonia. Idonia. We could check out some of the other characters. Is there a huge, like, how does... I mean, is there a huge difference between the characters? Uh... Moderate here. I'll let you check it out. Oh, I mean, we're, we're running out of time here, so uh, I well, can do it on the next episode. All right. Yeah. I'm just saying. Whatever. <laughs> well, then, sh let's uh, push in the day, I guess. I mean, we could talk about how this compares to classic shmup games, right? Because this is definitely 
feeding off of that like retro feel. Absolutely. Um, so I guess maybe the question is, what are they doing that makes it feel retro? And maybe what are they doing that's not so retro? How are they taking new techniques and applying them to an old dog? Old, old genre. <laughs> the comparison was not good. Mm. But yeah. Yeah, so share your comments in the section below. If you have an answer, if not, then just hang out and you can chat with us too. It's, yeah. it's cool. Um, and then vote on the things above us. And uh, that's about all we got. We'll see you next time. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everyone.